Hi everyone, really good to see you again today. Now, you know what? I don't need this fella. Spring is here. I can see uh, one of my friends coming back, the old gilet. Now, I was up in Whitby the other day and I went to a pie and mash place and that had a real nice theme to it. It was, it was, it was oldie worldy, if you like. And so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go to High Wycombe and I'm gonna go to the air raid shelter, cafe and tea room. We'll take a look outside there. You've got all sandbags and everything. Really interested in this one. As always, let's give it a go. Hang on, I better get me coat, haven't I? That's it. Can't leave that there. Okay, just before you go in, be careful. Danger. Unexploded bomb. And as I said, loads of sandbags. Let's go. Now, you come through the entrance door there, and I'm telling you how big this place is. Look, they've actually got a map of all the different areas um, of the little uh, restaurants or little areas which they, you can eat. Now, if you look over here, again, memorabilia on the wall, outrageous. Down here, you've got a sign, your scrap is wanted for spitfires. Help us, pile it in. Excellent, I like that. Look over here, bus stop request. Some long johns hanging up and uh, yeah. All the dirty washing, if you like. Sandbags, with air raid shelter there as well. I have to be careful because there's other people actually eating in here. When you walk in through here, sorry, Mr. Cameraman. Look at this in here. Wow. All the preserves up here, brilliant signs and sink. Just really well thought out. This is really, really clever. Then you come through here. Got a couple of budgies up here. Hello. They're actually stuffed. And look at this. Just sit down, have a coffee and relax. This is caught in a time warp, isn't it? I mean, wow, unreal. But there's lots more. Then you walk down here and again, fantastic pictures up here. These are all actual soldiers as well. Nice, nice touch. So you walk all the way down. I'm actually a little bit lost here. Yeah, through here. And we come into the railway station. And take a look in here. Got the trains going. Actually, is it, is it there? There we go. All aboard. Fantastic. Platform one. And then into the village hall. Now, I know there's people in here at the moment, so let's be a little bit discreet. Okay, so now we've come into the village hall. We've got a car in there, a Messerschmitt, aeroplanes on there. Again, absolutely incredible. And the lady said, any chance to give me a quick song? No, 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 you've heard my singing in other videos. Absolutely shocking, no chance, my have you. But again, brilliant music in the background, real nice vibe to it all. And there's more. Follow me. Now, we come through here. Me through. Again, this is the royal area. I have my corgi here waiting for me. And we're sitting over here. Okay, I'll see you when the food arrives. Okay, so here we are inside. Now, forget the menu for a minute, just forget it. I've had a wander around here. This isn't one little tea room or small cafe. There's about six, seven different areas and the memorabilia is outrageous. Now, what I want you to do is just spend a little bit of time because whoever owns this, they have spent an awful lot of their time and effort making it look wonderful. And I'm sitting here absolutely gobsmacked. You go in and you think, oh, yeah, there'll be a little bit of memorabilia around. However, every corner, everywhere you look, there is more to look at, more to look at. I've been here already about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, just wandering around looking with a smile on my face. I'm like, wow. Wow, this is incredible. And what's so nice about it is there is so many different areas that if you have a party or whatever, you can sort of, this area which I'm in, you can actually come up here and have a party, but you, you've got so much space, so you're not enclosed by anything and no one's on top of each other. Please take a look. I mean, it's not often we actually take loads of images of places, but this is well worth a look. Okay, so take a look at the menu. 
Uh, nice range of breakfasts here, their mains, they've got a children's menu, lots of drinks here. <laughs> I was going to say, they've got camp coffee here again. I'm not actually going to go for that this time. Uh, I did, did enjoy it last time. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for their Tommy's All Day Breakfast, which is, comes with a pot of tea or um, coffee for one. Two bacon, two sausage, two eggs, two hash browns, tomato, mushrooms, two toast and beans. Now that's $14.95. So basically you get your tea and your toast included in that price. Um, I'm also going to get their ham, egg and chips with salad. Now they've got two sizes there. You've got the large or the small. I'm actually just going to go for a small one, which is £7.95. And do you know what else I'm going to get? I'm going to get a clotted cream tea, which is £6.50. Now that comes with a scone or scone scone um, with jam preserve and Devon clotted cream. Some tea's arrived. I'll be mum. Oh, nice cup of tea, that is. But what I love, the teapot, they're not matching. Don't want it matching, do you? Brilliant. And now the food's arrived. Okay, my breakfast has arrived. Now, I've already put some brown sauce on there, uh, some pepper on the eggs. Take a look at that. I've never had a breakfast served on a platter before. Wow, presentation-wise, fantastic. Now, two pieces of bacon there, a couple of eggs, two hash browns. Now, what's very interesting here, um, vine tomatoes, we never get them. I've, I can't remember the last time I went in and got vine tomatoes. Three sausages, now they replaced the sausage with my mushrooms, because obviously I don't like the mushrooms. Two pieces of uh, brown toast, already buttered, and I do like the fact they serve the uh, the beans completely separately. Visually, yeah, that looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? Well, wow. it's all about the taste though. And as usual, I'll tell you what, I've got ham, egg and chips there as well. Uh, we'll come to them in a minute. Um, don't worry, cameraman's gonna be nicely fed today, so you'll all be happy. Now let's take a look at the eggs. Cut through. Perfect. What well, I like there as well is the colour to the eggs. They've got a fantastic colour. That's great. What makes a breakfast? I think someone's going to join us in a minute. Well, he's going to join uh, is, um Hello again. Uh, is the sausages and what have you. But what I'll do, I'll come back to you in a few seconds. So it's the sausages that make a breakfast. So take a look there. Hmm. They've actually got really, really nice flavour. I thought they were just catering sausages, to be honest, but they're not. Oh. Really in pork content. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the, what they are. I think it might be Lincolnshire sausages. What I like is the way they're cooked as well. Wow. Now, take a look at the bacon. It's back bacon. Let's cut into it. Take the fat off there for a moment. Don't mind the fat, I'll have that in a second. is smoked bacon, just that tiny bit overdone. Nice saltiness, saltiness coming through. It's full of flavor, that bacon, excellent. Now, every time I have hash, hash browns, they never cook properly. Nice and crisp on the outside, these ones, they're not soggy. You can hear the crispness of them. Now, I know loads of you say hash browns shouldn't be on a breakfast. However, they are on most breakfasts. They're the best I've had for a long time. They are well cooked. Now, I'm interested in these vine tomatoes. Mm. 
Wow. They are juicy, they're sweet. Do you think fine, fine tomatoes should be on a breakfast? Or tin tomatoes, what would be your favorite? They are brilliant. You never see them though, do you? They are bursting with flavor. Now, a close up on the beans. Nice and steamy. Tell you what, there's loads of tomato in there. Tomato sauce. Take a look. Absolutely oozing with it. That breakfast, really substantial. Eggs are cooked perfectly. Love the flavour of the sausages there. The hash browns, as I've said, brilliant Christmas on the outside. The tomatoes, juicy, bursting with um, sweetness. Only tiny little bit is that bacon just being a fraction. And I do mean a fraction here. I'm being so very, very picky. You can take a look there. Mm. I am being really picky. I've got to say, the most quality bacon. Love the saltiness of that bacon. Excellent. Well, I'm quietly impressed here. I'm not quietly impressed, actually. I'm shouting from the rooftops. I'm very impressed. Let me tea. I forgot me rosy lean. Well. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move that over there very quickly. I'm gonna show you the ham, egg and chips. And there's a small ham, egg and chips. Okay, so I've got my ham, egg and chips here. Now, when I asked the lady downstairs, I said, um, what's the difference between the small and the large? She goes, well, you get more ham, you get two eggs, and you get um, more chips. So for an extra, I think it's two pound, you get a bigger portion. I'm gonna start off this time with the ham. My apologies there, it's the, um, it's the groovings on the plate that didn't help me there. Got to have a bit of English mustard with your ham. That's a nice ham. It's a tiny, it's not, if you like, it's a smoky ham, but there's not a huge amount of smoke in this coming through. Anyhow, onto the egg. I've already seen the egg being done once. You've got to bear in mind that has been resting for a little bit. Brilliant colour to that uh, yolk again. We'll try one of the chips with the egg. Egg's perfect. Them chips are really good. Now, I've already put the salt and vinegar on the chips. Wow. They are homemade chips. Definitely homemade chips. What I like about them is the colour. You can take a look there. Nice golden colour to them. Wow. Definite thumbs up. Now I'm not going to go through all the salad. Presentation wise, the salad looks very, very nice. Um, yeah, I'm, again, from my point of view, salad, salad, you don't need me to go through each individual item and I don't want my breakfast to go cold either. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck in, I'm gonna see you guys very soon. What do you think? I'm impressed. And I have got a smile on my face. The whole actual atmosphere of the place, so you come in and you're feeling a little bit down, this lifts you, brilliant. Okay. Make some chips as well. Okay, so here we are. A little bit full up, I've got to be honest. Um, both me and the cameraman, both happy people. Now, onto the scone. Scone, scone. Not sure which one. So, let's take a quick look at it there. Looks very nice. Got the clotted cream there. And some jam. You get as much jam as you want. Actually, you just go and help yourself. Now, 
I'm not going to make a, a major meal of this because uh, I'm pretty sure we've all uh, tried in the past. My clotted cream, that is my big go-to. Look at that. Oh yes, I love my clotted cream. Put that on there. Put the jam on top. Now I know Gary, he's got that the wrong way around. So I'm sure you're gonna tell me. I do have a tough job sometimes. Outrageously good, isn't it? I love clotted cream, love strawberry jam. Love an afternoon tea as well. And I'm not gonna bore you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna finish my tea. I'm gonna really take my time. And think about what score I'm gonna give it. What score would you give it? It's not an easy one, funny enough. But I am a, I have got a big smile on my face. See you guys shortly. Okay, so we've come down to the village hall. I'm just giving my final thoughts. Now, I'm not gonna go through everything individually, but I've already done that. And I'm gonna mark this a little bit differently. Now onto the bill, first of all. For my Tommy's breakfast was £14.95. Got to bear in mind that included the tea and the uh, toast. My ham and chips, which was a small portion, was £7.95, and my clotted cream tea was £6.50. A grand total of £29.40. Marks. I'm going to give the ham and chips, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. It wasn't remarkable, it was, it was nice. I did like the chips though. The chips are very, very good. So I'm going to give that a very respectable 7. For my Tommy's breakfast, it was just a touch pricey. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. And then I'm going to mark the service in the restaurant itself, or the, if you like, the tea room. I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. I tell you what, what a fantastic effort by the owners here. This place is incredible. Where they've managed to pick up all this bric-a-brac and cars and aeroplanes and everything, I don't know but they're putting their heart and soul into it. What am I going to give the overall mark? Overall, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it a very, very respectable 9 out of 10. Now, if you're ever in the area, if you come to High Wycombe, please come and support places like this. They're privately owned. If we don't support local businesses, what's going to end up happening is we're just going to be left with the coffee shops and the usual places and with no heart, no soul, and no one talking to you, and no one interested. I mean, I've come in here today, and I've spoken to loads of people, and because we're all in the same vibe, we're all enjoying ourselves. So please get get down, and support the local businesses, and definitely get down here and support this place, this business. The guy really deserves it. If you can like and subscribe to the channel, I always appreciate that, and I'd love to hear your comments. Really would like to hear your comments. If you're a World War II enthusiast, you've got to get down here, Spitfires and everything. Now, it's time for me to go. Until next time, tally-ho. Bye-bye.